الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله I thought it would be beneficial for us to go over a very beneficial treaties and it is the treaties of one of our scholars a contemporary scholar Sheikh Abdul Razak Al Badr Hafizullah Taala and I'm not going to go into much in his biography or anything else but he's a well-known scholar in Medina from Ahlus Sunnah Wal Jamaa professor at Jamaa Islamia <coughs> and the translation we will use is from our esteemed brother, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him, Rashid Barber, Hafidullahu ta'ala. And so the book, the treatise is called From the Signposts of Tawheed, or it's called the, yeah, From the Signposts of Tawheed. And it's a very beneficial treatise. We're going to just go right into it because there's a lot of material. It may take us time, but that's okay. Uh, and we're going to go through it and we're going to benefit from it. ta'ala. So I advise the people not to just skip through, but to actually benefit. And especially those who are uh, new students of knowledge or, you know, and new Muslims and so forth. We're going to try to make this beneficial for us. So he begins in the introduction. And we're just really going to highlight the treaties. We may not read every single word and go through it, but we're going to highlight some of the most important uh, things of the treaties and give it a... And so we're actually, we could say this is a study from this book. So he says, all, all praise is for Allah, the Lord of all that exists. The good end is for the righteous. I testify that none has a right to be worshipped except Allah alone, who has no partners. And I testify that Muhammad is a slave and messenger. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And he says, indeed, Tawheed is the beginning of the religion and its end. And its end. Its inner core and its outer shell. And it is the beginning and end of the call of the messengers. It is the meaning of the statement, none has the right to be worshipped except Allah. This is the Miftal Jannah, the key to paradise. Due to it, the creation was created, the messengers were sent, and the books were revealed. By the way of it, the people are divided into believers and disbelievers. Blessed people of paradise and wretched people of the fire. It is the first obligation upon the responsible person. And it is the reality of the religion of Islam. Besides which Allah will not accept any other religion. Therefore, its affair is the utmost importance. And it is very great. Each of us is in need of being reminded of it and enlightened regarding it. So here the Shaykh is beginning his treatise, showing us the importance of Tawheed, and showing us that we are not having taqsir if we are reminding ourselves and reminding others about it. Meaning that we need to continue our dawah calling to Tawheed. I know people get tired of Tawheed. They don't want to hear about it. They, they, you know, don't you know anything else? Can't you talk about something else? Can't we do this? Can't we do that? Uh, you know, I'm going to listen to so-and-so. He is very nice entertainment dawah. You know, whatever the case may be, that there's no doubt this is about the, the most important affairs that you could know about. Because this is, has to do with your paradise and your hellfire. And we, and we seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the hellfire. So he says, <coughs> within this treatise from the signpost of Tawheed, is a clarification of the beacons and signposts of Tawheed by the way of the following issues. The first issue, the characteristics and Tawheed and its virtues. The second issue, the definition of Tawheed and its reality. The third issue, actualizing Tawheed and perfecting it. The fourth issue, the nullifiers of Tawheed and that which makes it deficient. The fifth issue, the source of Tawheed and its origin. The sixth issue, the fruits of Tawheed and its benefits. So here the Sheikh is, is, is just telling us about what is going to be contained inside this treatise. This important treatise, which is calling to Allah Azza wa Jal. As our Imam, Imam uh, Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i, Allah Yerahum, who said, when he was talking about the, the nature of Dawah, you know, and he was talking about the most important Dawah, which is the Dawah of Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah. Not the Dawah of Ahlul Bid'ah, wa Zandaqa, wa Ilhad, wa Kofar, wa Bid'ah, and all these other various categories. But we're talking about the Dawah to Dawah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he said, he said, Dawah to Ahlul Sunnah, 
Dawatun min kitabi la ila kitabi la wa min sunnati Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam ila sunnati Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam So uh, Imam Muqbil rahmatullahi alayhi wa rahmatun wasi'ah He said in a lecture entitled uh, Da'wah to Ahl Sunnah the, the Call of Ahl Sunnah He said the Da'wah of Ahl Sunnah is the Da'wah from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah and from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam So <coughs> it shows <laughs> <coughs> it shows us that the origin of our call is from the Quran to the Quran uh, and, 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 and using the Sunnah to the Sunnah. You know, it is Kitabu Sunnah. And the asl of that uh, of the Book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the divine speech of Allah Azza wa Jal is based on Tawheed. It's based on the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And the asl of the Dawah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, everything that he was doing and which we're, or, we, we're ordered to follow has to do with Tawheed Allah. It has to do with worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal alone, without any partner. He says, the speech within this treatise revolves around these six issues in summary and in a concise manner. Each one of these issues is in need of extensive clarification. However, I will abridge the speech regarding them to that which will actualize the intent by the permission of Allah, and from him alone aid is sought and success is requested. So that shows, that's the Sheikh's introduction right there. And that he is talking about what is contained in this treatise and how it is really abridged, it's shortened, to give you the intent, to give you the, the meaning, the base meaning of what he's trying to articulate. And that is the importance of Tawheed. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal, because we're going to make these uh, short sittings, the, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil, bless us with ikhlas, with thabat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam until our second lesson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.